Hey everybody, I'm Tom Vassell and welcome to my Best of the Di Designers series. In this series, I talk about some great designers and today we're going to talk about Klaus Jorgen Raid. Now, he is best known for one game. This is, you know, in uh, movies when someone's been typecast, well, I think the same thing has happened uh, with him. And that game, of course, is Carcassonne. So even though he's made a lot of different variations of Carcassonne and he's made other games, I'm going to today talk about his five best games. And then I'm going to talk about his five best expansions for Carcassonne. Because, listen, you know, people have mocked Carcassonne for jumping the shark, and there's so many expansions, and that's true, and so many different variations. But the fact is that Carcassonne has brought a lot of joy to the world. But let's get to his five best games. Number five, the Fugger. This is a trading game from Adlung Spiel, just a small deck of cards. Uh, and what you're putting them out there and the more cards there are of things, the more valuable they are. I don't know that this one's ever going to be uh, reprinted, uh, but it was a nice little trading card game. Number four is Card Cassone. Uh, this is a, a push your luck style game that I really enjoy. Yes, it's based on Carcassonne, but it's a completely different game as you're adding things to rows and then you're putting your stuff in rows to claim that row. So do they get it, let it get longer so you can claim more stuff or do you claim it early? Just a simple game, but I thought it played very well. Number three is, well, Carcassonne. Carcassonne, again, we can talk about this one all day long, but the fact is people like putting puzzles together. And that's what Carcassonne is. It's a giant puzzle, and there are so many different variations on this game. There's Carcassonne South Seas, Ark of the Covenant, a biblical one, Carcassonne Hunters and Gatherers. And so all each of these has variations, but that same idea of taking a tile and putting it there, and as a group, even though you're playing against each other, you're watching this Carcassonne area get larger and larger. And that's a lot of fun. Number two is my favorite variation of Carcassonne, and that's Carcassonne the City. Carcassonne the City I like for a lot of reasons. One, because it has these walls and physically it just looks amazing. You look at the table and you're watching the city close in as you're putting walls around. But it also has some really good mechanisms. You, this, the connecting tiles is a little bit looser than regular Carcassonne. You can put gu uh, guards on the city walls to score points. And it plays really well. This is my game of choice when it comes to the Carcassonne series. But my favorite Claus Jorgen Raid game is not a Carcassonne game, but it's the Downfall of Pompeii. Which is kind of weird, because here we are kind of having a silly game about a pretty horrific event. But I guess since it happened 2,000 years ago. Anyway, there's a volcano in this game, and you're in the city of Pompeii, and you're trying to get as many people in the city of Pompeii the first half of the game. The second half, the volcano erupts, and then you need to get as many people out of the city as you possibly can, making the lava flow different directions, taking your opponents and throwing their pieces into the volcano. It is great fun. It's been reprinted multiple times. That is the downfall of Pompeii. Now let's jump to my five favorite Carcassonne expansions. Number five, Wheel of Fortune. This was actually a standalone one, and I think I might be alone in really liking this one, but I found it very enjoyable. There's like a little wheel um, that's in the middle, and it has kind of random events that will happen when the little Wheel of Fortune tile is drawn, and you're moving a pig around, and different things will happen. I like this. Yes, it added a little bit more randomness to Carcassonne, but I thought it was also a lot of fun. Number four is the fairies. Um, fairies, fairies as the boats that carry people across the river. I like this one. It was a little tiny expansion. There's a lot of little expansions for Carcassonne, but this one that you have this ferry that you could put where these roads would end in a lake and you could turn the ferry to make one road go all the way through and to stop the roads going the other way. Very small minor change, but I thought it worked really well. Number three is Abby and Mare. Um, this one added wagons, which were really neat because they could move from place to place. So having a moving piece is a neat thing. The abbeys themselves, a tile you could place anywhere on the board and it would finish things. Ah, oh, that's a, such a necessary thing. If it bothers you that there's holes in Carcassonne, this would finish that. And barns and other things. I thought this was a really good, solid expansion. Number two is the tower. <clears throat> one reason I like the tower is that it actually added a physical tower where you could put the uh, tiles in and pull them out and, and use them as the game went by. That's neat, but it also added towers on the board. It also added a bit of Take That, another Take That expansion of Princess and Dragon. I also enjoyed that one, but the towers I thought did a better job, although it was a little bit more in your face, not everyone's cup of tea. And my favorite expansion for Carcassonne, I believe, is the second expansion, and that's Traders and Builders. I like the idea of 
the builders. They're my favorite piece in the game because if you add something to a spot where you have a builder, you get to put out an extra tile. And who doesn't like putting out two tiles? And just, it's a very simple expansion, but it's one of those expansions that I probably will never play without. Those are my five favorite Carcassonne expansions, and those are my five favorite games from Mr. Raid. Why don't you tell me what yours are in the comments below? Until next time, though, I'm Tom Bassett. You've been watching Best of Designers, Klaus Jorgen Raid.